全く何をやっているのだやすやすと突破されおって Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 53 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. We left off just after finishing a stage and I would continue through the rest of this cutscene except there was another frickin' stage after it. Anyway, Gilsh is none too happy that we beat Rosaline. <laughs> So, in the end, these people are of no use to him either. Why isn't there anybody useful that hangs around with him? I wonder why. Well, he knew this would happen. In the end, he is the only one who can fulfill his ambitions. <laughs> his ambitions are that great, huh? Well, in the end, the path of a king is a lonely one. There is no one else who rises to our level. Uh, but for that point, it's interesting. As expected, he'll have to lower his hand in order to get this done. Kakugoshiro <laughs> Abaro! So prepare yourself, Avaro. He's going to cut that. Uh, that um, overconfident attitude out of you. So he's laughing while we approach. Of our pants a bit, and says, uh, "Well, we finally caught up to you." Hmm. <laughs> oh, you seem to be out of breath, huh? You've had a rough battle, haven't you? It was easy. Oh, well, now it's now we get to see these two shit talking to each other, I guess. Well, anyway, no matter what kind of traps Gilsh lays for us, they don't even rise to the level of Avaro's war record. Oh, when you're breathing so disordered like that, you don't have any convincing power. Oh, I'm just nervous because now I get to lecture a king's prince. Or perhaps I should just spank you until you're sorry. <laughs> well, you pervert. Are you getting aroused thinking of it? Don't drag me down into your disgusting little hobbies. I don't want you saying that to me. Who's got disgusting habits and hobbies is pretty clear here. So, what happened to Rosaline? Did you kill her? Don't group her in with you. We heard her in the battle, but we didn't take her life. She's just passed out. Well, he's rather naive. That's why Gilf thinks you're so foolish. You should... You really should kill her. That's not the kind of thing you should say about people who fought on your side. Hell, 
If you want to go and rescue her right now, we will wait here for you. Well, his pawns that don't actually bear the results he want are of no use for him. Now, although it was rather surprising that we managed to defeat her. So is it this way or that way, dipshit? <laughs> and anyway, if you did take, it, take her life, that in itself would be saving her. Ha ha ha! What a prick. But that's a little closer to the answers we were trying to get out of her. Alright, Gilsh. We've had enough of this. If you want the castle, you should just come at us directly, rather than engaging in these circuitous circumlocations. <laughs> well, in war, it's only natural that you do things that your opponents don't like. The fact that you're all worked up about it is proof that it's working. You ass. But rejoice! For now, I get to cut your head clean off of your shoulders. Since I'm doing it directly, you should be happy. Uh, Alright. Let's end this. Oh, but one thing first. Gilles, one question. Do you have some... What is the nature of your hold you have over Rosaline anyway? Do you have a weakness grip to, gripping her? Or did she swear allegiance to the kingdom or something? <laughs> The hell are you talking about? To you, she is just an enemy with no connection. Well, Avaro can't has the disposition that he can't leave a girl in trouble. <laughs> you just keep talking about the most ridiculous shit. <laughs> So, Rosaline is obeying Gils because Gils is a, the king of Infrus. Again, he says that. But anyway, that is her fate. One that she can't run away from it no matter what the criminal that she is <laughs> fate and criminal huh well that's all he's gonna get so thanks for telling us seems like there's something behind this but we aren't getting all the answers yet <laughs> Well, that was a boring question you asked him. So, what are you going to do with it? Well, I don't know all the answers yet, but you've gotten me a little closer. Time to punish your ass. Don't go talking like you've won. Who do you think you are? I'm the apostle of a god. Little prince of influence. A super beautiful goddess, too. Hey. Well, now he's getting pissed off. He is going to cut Avaro up so finely 
that we all won't even be able to tell what form he was in before. Boy, you lose your cool pretty quick. Don't you know that's one of the signs you're going to lose? Well, prepare yourself. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> well, he's gonna kill us pieces. Be sure to regret the fact that you didn't obey. The fact that you rebelled against the king. Hey. The way you can just so calmly use people and abandon them really pisses us off. Everybody? Put all you got into this. This particular formation is chosen to get them to use his area attack on Avaro, Kisnir, and Rishu. These two, who are the weakest against it, are out of range, and it won't use it against only one character like Eel. On the other hand, it might just attack Eel, which would probably be the worst case scenario. Oh, then there's these things. Oh, another thing that will attack you all is actually really valuable. Oh yeah, these guys. This is it. You know, I got to turn on the view of those guests because I don't know what they look like yet. Well, worst case scenario. Eel's got great dodge though. And even if it hits, it'd need a critical to kill her. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> -ha. So while it looks like a flame hydra, it's actually called a dark hydra. For whatever reason. Okay, Avaro, stop being useless. That's better. A little. Uh, maybe I should stick to ranged attacks. Oh yeah, that's right. Avaro has buffs. This will work pretty well. Yes, yes. This will work quite well. No need to use the capture ability just yet. Yep. Yep. Was that a hundred? No, that was 88 damage. Or almost half of its life. He must have done the rest of the damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eel's pretty da decent in the damage dealing department. Well, if she dies, I'll rewind time again. <sighs> well, if Mikao here could capture. I'd have her do a capture, but she can't. Yo, can you do it now? You better do it. Sweet. And that's a capture. 
Isn't it awesome? Yes, yes it is. Okay, 28 times 3. Too much damage. 25 times 2. Well, not enough, but it can't be helped. Man, these guys are so weak. Oh yes. Deedhelm, you're fixing things. I would prefer not to stand on this trap, but I need to capture this guy somehow or another. That would cost the Rishu like 20 life. Ah yes, I wanted to see this. You are so good at cutting these girls down. Huh. I was expecting something more impressive. Hmm. Pity. Yeah, Rishu isn't as good at taking them on. <laughs> Huh. Hey, two counters. Uh. Oh, I hate those so much. So these are magic wall spirit. Well, however that turns out. No, wait, take backs. I'm gonna buff Eel so the next time that thing attacks her, she can take it out. Oh. Um, Kisner, kill this thing. Well, having established there's a... What the hell is it called? There's a treasure chest in that other room. Oh, Eel hasn't moved yet. Uh, sorry Mikio, but there isn't much use for you left. Now, I'd like to point out in this level, Gilsh is right here in the middle. Which indicates to me that we're going to get somebody joining our party and coming in as reinforcements over here. I wonder who? Hmm. This is going to be awesome. Is what I'd like to say. I'm going to stab something so hard. Look, you can all gather up all you want, but I'm after the... whatever it's called. The magic wall spirit. Perfect. There you go. Yeah, of course. In terms of physical attacks, only Eel and Kisnir can really take those on. But when it comes to magic attacks, it's all Fia. Well, I guess Mikao could do it too, but she can't also capture them with her magic attacks. Oh crap. These are actually kind of dangerous. Whew. See? Hmm. Times two. 
23. Nope, I'm going to move her here. This way that final magic wall girl is going to attack her. And she's out of Gilch's range. Oh, shut up. No, oh, this will work though. Holy shards. Three of them. Oh yes, I should heal you all. There we go. Ooh, the stupid bastard goblins. Huh. <sighs> Nothing to do but inch heal forward a bit this turn. Now, but before that. Oops. <sighs> Call in the backup healer. Mama. Okay, move forward as much as you can, detail, but that'll be it. Now the point of this exercise is to take down all the boss's minions before I have to take on the boss himself. Oh no. Crap. I forgot about the control problem. Ah, oh, what should I do? <sighs> well, let's march in then. Can't be helped. The thing is, those magic wall spirits actually have a pretty good ranged attack that I don't like eating. But sometimes you don't have a choice. Well, if anybody's going to eat it, I guess it should be Risha. She's got the HP and the defense for it. You see? Hmm. Oh, anyway. Time to fight Gilsh. Rishu is not well suited to dealing damage to him, but she is well suited to taking damage from him. <laughs> So we finally caught up with Gilsh and Risha has something to say to him. She's glad for the opportunity to whittle down the power of the Infernus Kingdom. 
ふん誰だ貴様は王族である世に声をかけるとはなんて不尊な打ち首にしてやろう Well, who the hell are you? And who do you think you are to be speaking to royalty? <laughs> oh, well, isn't he foolish to not know the ruler of Raul Ra Ra Rosso? Ah, Raul Rosso. Ah, no, in a cash s h i n a n k Dakara Kona Yaban Nano Dan. Oh, Raul Rosso. Aren't you coming in from the boondocks? No wonder you're so uncivilized. I'd like to point out that she actually has a pretty sophisticated way of talking. <laughs> But now he's offended her. Not that she's going to be the one to settle this. Not at that rate. Okay. Now I've got my wall curious in a position. Yeah, you can finish this. As the saying goes, boom, shaka laka. Well, prepare yourself, Your Highness. <laughs> so, Kisnira has finally fully turned against the kingdom. I hope you aren't expecting mercy. Of course not. Well, as your former subordinate, she's going to take the responsibility and stop you. If you had properly considered the people in choosing your actions, she wouldn't have been forced to this. So, here we go. And she's still got the super boss killer move, which does a ton of damage. Uh, but he can do a ton of damage himself. Oh, wait, I've got a healer right there. Poltergeist. This is. Well, she's unlikely to kill it. But she doesn't need to right now. Small healing potions, five. Sweet. I go through all these, through those things like candy. No, concentrate fire on Gilsh. No, I had Joe Sayo Akiwatas Dakeva Suma Sanu. Zutazutani Kirikizan de Yare. Ibasara Wabi Oide Temo Soizo. Kisamara. So it's too late for to get forgiveness from Gilles, even if we hand it over the castle right now. He's going to cut us to pieces. Fortunately, that's all the more we have to listen to out of him. At least for now. I've mentioned the poltergeists have this super human killer ability, which adds 10 to their attack. It's still not enough to hurt her, though. <laughs> She got two counters off and kills it. Sweet. Oh, that thing, that is so painful. Fortunately, I had everybody healed, well, pretty much up. 
Okay, time for the cavalry to come from the back flank. I mean, before I kill this guy. Come on. Hmm. Okay, 11 damage against 22 he she takes. Sigh. Ah, oh, Rishu, we all love you. Okay, keep up the pressure, guys. If we actually kill him in this... What? Oh yeah, that ranged attack. That area attack of his almost... Did a bunch of damage to most of my characters. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. You know, if I kill him here, I won't get to show the rest of the battle. But I'm not going to complain as long as he's dead. No, no. Well... The only help I have is Ranrin. And that's a pretty decent hope, actually. One critical hit. Okay, you guys get the short version of this battle. I'll tell you right now, normally, when you win, wound him like 50% or so, he'll start running away up to the northern part. That's not where reinforcements come. He just makes you go through another level of enemies. And he's got two more he healers up there to heal him to full. Like one of those piss-down tactics you would expect of an asshole like him. So, uh, level up. Not bad, not bad. I like magic attack. <laughs> Maria Heart. It's a fairly decent accessory. That I won't be using. So while well, that's a big time saver, I lose out on a bunch of stuff I could have gotten. But let's get this over with. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Uh, so he's lost the power to keep swinging his sword around, but he's still got the power to glare at us and hate us. And scream a bit. So, damn it, why can't he win? Are you saying that I, of all people, am inferior to these filth? Huh. These instances of filth. These losers. <laughs> these commoners. Ha. Huh. Alright. Any more resistance is useless, Gilsh. Give it up. If you promise not to come after the castle anymore, We'll let this end, just like this. I don't know, Alvaro. They, we've had a pretty good relationship with this guy. I mean, first, Kisner was working for him, and now she's working for us. And then Rosaline was working for him, and pretty soon she'll be working for us. Do you have any more female subordinates? We'll take all you got. <laughs> Are you an idiot? Why would he have to pull back? In the first place, we were the ones who took off with the castle without his permission. You guys are the ones who should be giving it back. Look, anyway, the castle is Fia's. But even if we try and say it to you again, it's not going to go through this time, is it? So, what do we do with this prince guy? Uh, well, taking a look at it, as long as he lives, he's not going to give up on the castle. 
but solving it by killing him doesn't sound like a good idea either. Since he's a member of the royal class here, the royal family, and that's a pretty heavy crime to be taking on our heads. And even though he keeps trying to kill us, we don't want to lower ourselves to his level now, do we? <laughs> I would. Give me a knife. I'd slit his throat and toss him out that window. Ah, anyway. Avoro thinks it can't be helped. If we kill him, it'd be a big problem. Authority is really unfair that way. So, so <laughs> Oh, that's right, you can't kill me. Uh, even though, as royalty, you shouldn't be opposing him in any form either. Hurry up and let him go. If you continue surrounding him with your filthy commoner bodies, it's rude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he isn't the most logical at his best. Uh, but anyway, we're not going to let you go. Probably we're going to just tie you up to start. <laughs> you damn bastards. Look, don't know how you've been living up to this point. But not everybody's going to listen to your stupid opinions and follow your orders. Anyway, your authority applies to the people of Inverdu's kingdom. Avaro here works for Fia. He's just a half-elf. And not under your authority. Wait! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So in the last level we knocked her out and we didn't think to, I don't know, tie her up or anything. We have ropes. I equip them all the time. Okay, Rosaline, why are you here? Ah, but... Before she answers... <laughs> Well, you've given it a good time. You are a true vassal. So, hurry up and kill them. Pull up your evil spirits and kill them all. Okay. Rosaline is going to ask Gilch to pull back from his ambitions on the castle. What do you think you're saying? Well, if it's come to this, it's clear that we can't win against them. So, let's apologize from the depths of our heart and ask them to forgive us. If we don't plan on fighting them, they certainly, they don't have any plans on chasing us down, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> well, I don't know about Avar, but I'd kill him. Like I said, knife, window. Huh, anyway. Ah, fools, why are you saying such naive bullshit? So, Gilsh's point of view is not the same as theirs, and they should think about it from his point of view. As king, he can't lower his head. Why don't you understand that? And 
As expected, she is a useless woman. It's fine. He isn't going to hold any more hopes for your... anything. Hey, you know, if he's tried insulting her for being useless, wasn't it just a few lines back that he was praising her as a true vassal? And, but I guess it all boils down to how useful she's being at the moment. Or seems to be. Anyway. He orders her to make sure that he gets safely away from here. Even if she has to sacrifice her life in order to stop us. And this is a... a <clears throat> this is an order from Gilf's Ruse, who has the blood of the, of the royal line in him. So, to those words, she flinches and takes a new stance against us. I understand. Your Highness Gils Rus, she prays for your safety. So, like a doll without any will, she goes to protect Gils. <laughs> That's good, that's how you should be. Well, this is pretty harsh. You bastard. You and your underhanded methods. She's already wounded this badly, and you plan on running away by yourself by using her as a shield. And what's wrong with that? Don't you know how high he is on the social ladder? Their differences are so great that he can do this sort of thing. And after all, it's a vassal's duty to use their body in order to for the king's benefit. You know, we're trying to tell you you're a complete ass. Look, you've lost. Give it up already. Oh, no. <laughs> Give it up. <laughs> oh, yes. That particular form of give it up means prepare yourself for the worst. So if I was kind of threatening him... Not like Avaro would have the guts to do it. Anyway, Gil says he's surprised to hear such harsh words coming out of Avaro's mouth. Well, what's so strange about that? Even if you do use Rosaline as a shield, we aren't going to let you go. I mean, come on, just look at her. She doesn't have the power to stop us any more than you do. <laughs> oh, so he's now he's going to take a look at the circumstances. Yeah, he looks at her and laughs a bit and walks a bit. その通りだ。この女が命を懸けたとしても、世がこの場を無事にさることは無理であろう。それほどの戦力差がこの場にはある。he manages to get as far as a wall. And anyway, he recognizes that it is as Avaro says. Even if Rosaline gives her life to protect him, he isn't getting out of here safely. That's how much the battle power has shifted in our favor. <laughs> So, he sees he is going to be captured here. And after that, he'll either be arrested in the castle or he'll be sent to the capital. So, showing his fangs, canines rather, 
It's interesting they have the same word for canines. Dog tooth. Anyway. Kay's still shaking with rage and sets his hand on a wall. He cannot stomach such humiliation. He is the king. He is the one who should be leading the kingdom of Influs. So, Gilsh would rather die than be scorned by his father and watch the throne be given to his brothers. Wait, you're not seriously saying? Oh well. So while he's screaming, he gets his hand towards a window that connects the inside of the tower to the outside. Hey, if you jump out of there, it's not going to go well for you. Hey, Gilsh. Watch carefully. This is the form of a king who will not be killed by his enemies. <laughs> I absolutely, absolutely won't forgive you, Avaro. Oh, what was the quote I wanted to use here? Ah. To the last I grapple with thee, from hell's heart I stab at thee, for hate's sake I spit my last breath at thee. Ah, I love the classics. So, screaming as he does it, he hops himself out the window. Well, he doesn't have wings and he can't float around like a ghost, so... What he meets next is the ground. Nah, he fell. Did he plan on dying like that? Come on, Fia. Were you paying attention? Well, that's just how proud of an ass he was. So, sticking his head out the window, we look it down to the ground. The mist is so thick, you can't really confirm his body's there very well. Well, Your Highness, we have seen you through to your last. So, Kisner says a bit of a prayer. Risha also says a silent one. You know what you guys should do? Go on down the stairs, find his body, and stab it a few times to be sure. Ah, oh, no way. Well, Rosaline is uh, saddened by this, I guess. She doesn't cry, but she shows a very sorrowful face. So, Gilsh also leaves Rosalina behind. So, in the end, she's going to report Gilsh's valor and um, efforts to the king. But we won't be setting you in or laying you in state in such a horrible wounded say wounded state. So the ghosts that we think are her followers head out the window and down to the ground. Now good enough for me. Well, this wasn't what we intended, Rosaline. It's fine. 
he decided it on his own, so all the responsibility is his. Well, but she isn't going to let us leave the tower, even if it costs her her life. Yeah, even though it's so hard, even though she's clearly have a, such a, having such a hard time simply standing. So she weaves her way over and shows a bit of battle spirit. But you don't need to b obey him any longer. There's no reason to fight anymore. There is a reason, though. She needs to fulfill Gilsha's last order. Well, even if you say so, his last order was to get him out of the ca tower safely. And he got out safely. Uh, he got about two stories further than that, and then he wasn't safe anymore, but hell, you completed it in my book. Anyway, Rosaline, you're wounded. You can barely stand. If you keep fighting, you're gonna die. Die? Yeah, Avaro, that's not how this works. You don't need to worry about it. She doesn't die. The hell does that mean? Are you saying that you're going to be able to win against us? Oh. I overlooked one interpretation. When she says Shinanai, she could be saying she doesn't die. But Avaro took it to mean that she won't die. In other words, that she was saying she would win. Which wasn't what she was saying. <clears throat> she knows she'll lose, but she won't die. That's her fate. As long as the Ruth Oil, Ruth Oil royal family continues to exist, she will continue to take action like this. A fate, huh? You know, we're sick of hearing that particular word out of you people. Look, there are certainly some kind of circumstances, so tell us about them. Why do you follow the orders of the royal family so strictly? Is there some reason why you can't disobey them? And she's told you. There's no need for you to know. Look, we want to help. If we knew what was going on, we'd be able to lend a hand. <laughs> ah, here we go. Gil said that Rosaline was a criminal. Is this connected to the reason why you obey the royal family? Speak! We don't want to fight with you anymore. So, without thinking, Avaro uses words that take the form of an order. And her body flinches and she responds in kind. No way, why? Uh, what has happened? Uh, no. It's nothing. She'll talk. It can't be helped. Because you gave her an order. What, just anybody will do? <clears throat> You know, what the hell is happening all of a sudden? Uh, well, anyway, if you're willing to talk, that we're happy, though. Uh, 
So, Rosaline here is a doll without free will. She's been afflicted with a curse and she isn't even allowed to die. She is such a great criminal. So, she starts talking about this curse. So, her full name is Rosaline Flan. Ah, full name's Anna, so I already knew that, but... This was the first time she properly introduced herself. So, one hundred and several, one century and several decades ago, in this area, there was no Influus Kingdom. There was the Inrax Kingdom. And in that kingdom was the Thran family. Was? So what's up then with now? So, the Fran the Fran family has been wiped out. The leader of the Flan clan, he committed the great sin of assassinating the entire Gram royal family of Ingrak's kingdom. There wasn't one of the Gram family, oh, Gramel family, left afterwards. Whoa, that's pretty heavy. So, regicide. Yes. And due to that action, the Inrax kingdom collapsed. The Flan family caused the destruction of a, an entire country. Wow, that's pretty harsh. And we've already heard from Rishu how Inrax turned into Influus Kingdom and the, the Santa Shi Eif alliance, including Rao Rosso. So, you get what happens next, right? After that, the entire Flan family was without exception captured and charged with the crime. So, when the Rus royal family started the Influus Kingdom, they set this curse upon Rosaline. And now she has to, or rather, cannot disobey the royal family's will. So she's been reduced to a simple doll. So the ones who set this curse upon you... Oh wait, the ones who had this set... had this curse set upon them are among the Fran family, only Rosaline. That's the case. She's the only one left of the Flan family. So why only her? Well, the punishment that was decided for her was not death, but atonement in this form. So, with this curse set upon her body, 
she won't grow older and she will continue to atone for her sin in this state called cold death or reishi. So in this body that is like it is already dead, she's been deprived of her free will and she has to continue living like this. So in order to continue to atone for her sin, she's been confined here to the way of flowing spirits. And her job is to manage the dead who manage to wander here. Is that so? But you can tell by looking at her that she is quite young. Certainly, that whole plot to kill the royal family, she had no part in at the time. But the sin was that great that they just forced this fate upon her. So they're making you take responsibility for this thing you didn't even have a hand in yourself. And furthermore, for more than 100 years. So she's been turned into this cold death state. And now she doesn't age and this is what she replies. Okay. So all this time you've been atoning for this sin you didn't even commit. So with the king's order, you guide the spirits of the dead. And you're pretty useful in that. But you can't not do that. <laughs> for all this time, in this place where people don't come, all by herself and all alone. Huh. Oh, are you going to cry? Like hell I would. To better describe it, Avaro is kind of fucking pissed. He is so angry he can't even think straight. Look, why don't you come with us? Why don't we figure out some other way for you to tone your sins and you can live in the castle with us and, you know, interact with living people again. Ah, sorry. But the curse on her body won't allow her to do that. She cannot leave this way of flowing spirits without permission. When she went to go and meet Avara, that was actually her first time out in quite a long while. And for that reason, she can't accompany us on her journey. So, that's a pretty good refusal. She has a wry smile on. You know, one of those bitter ones that she doesn't want to hurt us, but she knows that she can't come. All right, next question. Is there a way to undo the curse? Probably nobody but the Rus royal family knows of it. And anyway, they probably won't do it. She is a rather convenient existence to them, after all. Yeah, I don't know why they even have the death penalty when they can set this on people. So, anyway. She doesn't grow old and she won't die. And she can use all these spirits. So, yeah. She is pretty useful. 
Avaro admits that if you look at it from their perspective, the Influus Kingdom would probably never let go of Rosalina. Okay. Is there any way other than getting permission from the royal family? Well, Avaro really feels for her being stuck like this. There might be a way, and there might not be a way. She's already gotten tired of searching for it. And she's gotten tired of living, even. So many times she's actually tried to kill herself, but she can't. No matter how much she, she is injured, her body simply won't die. So even Avaro is like Gil's going to leave this world and leave her behind in it. She is going to forever continue to be left behind by people in that way. So, now that she's told you all the circumstances, you know all the circumstances. This is why she didn't want to talk about it. Even if we come here and try to save her, there's nothing we can do. Now that you know the truth and that you can do nothing, all that's been accomplished is that we've given you unpleasant mesmeries. Yeah, that is pretty sickening. So with that, she be she all but says the conversation's over. She will report to His Majesty that Gils' death was not our fault. After all, we are not guilty of the sin of regicide. So, she smiles a bit without any power behind it. So, you can't continue to hang around here forever. We have a big objective and an important place to go, don't we? So, Gilsa's orders were to get him safely out of this place. And although he wa she wanted to do it properly, even in the end she wasn't able to. So, this is basically the end of the conversation. She's asking us to leave. Still leaves Avar with a bitter taste in the mouth. So, nothing we can do but give up, huh? Eh. Yeah, he does kind of feel like crying. And he also feels like screaming out in frustration. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, if he has got an idea. Maybe. Anyway. No, we don't have to give up. We can do it. Avaro can do it. 
So you can't give up. If you want to save her, then you have to save her. <laughs> okay, but there is no way to, to release the curse. There is. So there is a way. And Avaro can do it. Because he is an apostle of a god. Because he is an apostle of a god. So the curse on Rosaline is kind of like a sovereign power over her. Or to say it in other words, it's a contract which she can't break on her own. So, Fia is the goddess of connections. And what is Avaro? And what kind of contract did he make with Fia? What kind of bond are they connected with? So, demand a new connection and connect with her and forge that bond in the name of Fia, the goddess of connections, deliver happiness to your partner. Hmm. Sounds like we're going to sex her into being normal again. Ha <laughs> ha. As if. Uh, can we? I've always never done that kind of magic before. Even if he's never used it consciously before, with the bond he has with Thea, it is certainly a, an ability that resides in him now. It'll be alright. If this is a human-on-human -human connection we're trying to override, then because we've got a goddess's power on our side, it will fall away pretty easily. So, believe in Fia and believe in yourself. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's a pretty good answer. So, she's grasping what's going on and... By grasping it, she's only getting confused. So, we're going to steal this sovereignty right from the Rusoil family. <laughs> well, if you say, if you're going to be so insistent, Fia, I'll make sure it goes all right. Leave it to me. <laughs> all right, it's on you. So, we're going to be going over that way. Be sure to, to undo the curse properly. We'll be praying for your success. So, Fia and the rest, head off. This is looking more and more like that stupid idea I just threw out there a minute ago. Would you believe that stupid idea is exactly what I said the first time playing through? Okay. So, Avaro, it looks like they're leaving. You should go too. Uh, no, no. You got what that conversation was about. This is the part where I free you from your curse. Hey, 
How? There should be no way of doing it. There's a way. Hey. I think she pretty well understands, but doesn't want to admit it. Kind of embarrassing. Okay, straight up. Rosaline, right now I'm going to have sex with you. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know, it was pretty easy to understand from my point of view. Okay, let's confirm. You are under control by a curse from the Rus royal family, correct? Yes, and? So, by making a certain kind of contact, well, by contacting skin on skin and all that good stuff, we're going to override the Rus curse on you from inside of your body out. And it's kind of a spiritual battle with the curse on you. But we're going to do it. And for that purpose, give me permission to do this with you. So this is a sexual ritual we two are to do. That's how it is. Well, these sexual rituals are complicated and stuff. But let's leave it all to Avaro. I'm sure he's smart enough to figure it out. She can't. She's never done anything like that before. Well, because you've never tried it, that gives us a reason to try this as well. I know we two are on opposite sides of a battle here and fought pretty hard. And we haven't known very long, so you may not trust Avaro very well. But he wants to tell her that his desire to save her is true. That's not what she's doubting in this. After all, Avaro has always been like that to people. This is the first time he's heard somebody say that sort of thing to him. If he had heard it, she would laugh. Yeah, furthermore, she'd probably praise him. Okay, good point here. If we fail, what do you think is going to happen? Of our two, might not get out of it safely. Worst case, Avara might end up under control of the curse, just like her. It's all right. Don't you worry about thing and leave it all to me. Look, let's not. Just leave her behind already. There's no benefit to you in doing this. She's already one of the dead. Even if she's got a life that looks like this, it's no different from being dead. That's not true. Even though we've only talked a little bit, you've cared about us and you've been kind to us. We are... Avaro here understands. If you were really dead down to your heart, you wouldn't have done any of these things. <laughs> Avaro hits it so head on that Rosaline can't even deny it. Well, you've tried to undo this curse several times, and each time you've failed and been hurt by it, right? And here you're worried about failing again. And you're even afraid of having hope for it. 
right? You yourself have kind of given up on your way, right? Given up on yourself in a way, right? That's right. But Avaro here isn't going to give up on you. He wants to save her. And if we can do it somehow, he's going to give it a shot. Why is he doing this? Yeah, I think of it as me fulfilling my own selfish, egotistical ways. But he's absolutely going to free you from this curse. So even those eyes are showing a little bit of light in them. Geez, you're direct. Do you always seduce women like this? Navarro has no intention of seducing you. He's speaking the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and if he were serious about seducing her, he'd be way better at it. <laughs> yeah, what a cruel man. Come on, don't be stupid. I'm the embodiment of kindness. <laughs> well, that may be true. But she's sorry. She's still afraid to go into that territory. So, please, say it stronger, and say you want her more strongly. She wants Avaro to give her the order, and then, certainly, yeah, she can't quite spit it out. But what is up with that? That one time my bar gave her the order and to speak and then she told us her whole story about the curse. And now if he orders her to do something else again, she'll probably do it. That's probably the biggest open loop that isn't going to get closed in this scene. Alright. Now you and I are going to have sex. Give your body to me. <laughs> so, understood. She'll do it, but she doesn't think it's going to go well. So, she's going to keep saying it, huh? Uh, um, she hasn't actually touched skin with a man before, so... I understand. That too, just leave it all to me. So, obviously we're having sex now, so I'm going to cut. See you in a few. MEGA POWER! In truth, she felt it would be all right if it had failed. Okay, obviously, it was a big success. So now she's normal and she'll get to age and eventually die. So even in, if succeeding in removing the curse, she felt it would be all right if she lost her life in the process. Although to Avaro, it would be a failure. Did you not think about it? The curse kept her from aging by force, so if her 
if this state of cold death was removed from her, she might all of a sudden. So all the time that you spent not aging would suddenly affect you, affect you, and then she would die. That's well. Well, she has all had all, all this time to think about what would happen. Oh boy, that's... Are you serious? So even if removing the curse succeeded, if she all of a sudden gained all those years back and died in his arms, that would be pretty dramatic to him. But, ultimately, it wasn't even a low possibility. Still, reality was unexpectedly good to her here, so she gets to continue to live. <laughs> and for this reason, she's actually a bit lost as to what to do now. But, She's able to laugh for maybe the first time we've ever seen her do it. And we're happy to see that. Well, you're not shackled to anything anymore. So, let's invite you again. Come with us, huh? and head towards the God's Haze with us. What you say to that? Of course. We've formed a contract now. So, if that's the will you choose, she'll go along with it. So, now that she's free from the sin that her family committed, she is just the spirit mage Rosaline, and as such a person, she's going to join us on our journey and help us as best she can. So, thanks, two of our own. From now on, she and he get to, you know, get old together. Accumulate years together. It's got an elegant way that she says it, but I'm at a loss for putting it in English. Ha. Ah. Alright, so Rosaline Flan has become one of our allies. Sweet! Wait, what? No, no, Flan just by herself is good enough. Oh, and there's her house. And can you stop giving me stuff? I'm good now. So, in connection to Rosaline, we also have a couple of summons. That uh, jester-looking guy in the plague mask and that noble woman-looking woman. Although they don't have their bodies anymore. But whatever. Let's take a look at their stats. Or maybe we do have their bodies. Well, what the hell was that picture they showed us then? Okay. So these guys have... Very high physical resistance and very high dark... Hell, they absorb darkness attacks. But don't let them anywhere near holy attacks. I mean, wow. Hmm. Let's see, probably they're affected by our... That uh, thing we've got going in the castle. 
So under normal circumstances, their physical damage will be reduced by 75% against them. And now it's reduced to 1 under all circumstances. <laughs> anyway, these particular summons can only be summoned right next to Rosaline instead of our Yuiki, which are summoned only next to Fia. So that's how that goes. Ah, and, and, uh, and so, cheers to our new ally. Cheers. 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 And it's a pleasure to be of your and acquainted with you now. So she's a Rosaline, and from now on, she'll be hanging out with us. Cheers! So now that we've done our greetings. And apparently, we get to start drinking. Kishner is challenging Fia to a drinking contest again. <laughs> nah, Fia thinks she's gonna win. I'd rather she didn't, it'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guess who else likes to drink a lot? So, Detail is going to join in that particular threesome. Oh man, I can't believe I said threesome in regard to Detail. So, if those three are drinking, the Rishu is going to be eating. And Eel is going to be providing the food. And Miki is going to be assisting those two. And so the three of the, there's a set of three drinking and there's a set of three eating. Or rather one eating and two trying to keep up with her. Leaving. Of our own Rosaline to talk a bit. Well, this place certainly has commotion written all over it. Well, you'll get used to it. It's actually pretty fun. Really? She is a bit scared of getting used to this kind of. Well, true, it's a bit harsh. Alright, for today, let's just enjoy our drinks. Slowly and pleasantly, unlike some people. Anyway, Alvaro, you don't need to take so much care about Rosalina. Uh, Avaro doesn't think he was being particularly careful here. She's thankful that she's been released from her curse. But she still doesn't hold any hope of living uh, again. She doesn't know how to demand to uh, pursue happiness. She's lived too long. <laughs> so, you've been freed from the Rus royal family. Why don't you just do what you like? If you do, happiness will come to you. So, to do what she likes. Well, if you 
it doesn't come to you straight away, then just look for something. Kind of like you eventually found me, you'll find something you like. Rosaline, you're free now. Free. It's got a mysterious quality to it. Well then, she'll gladly accompany him in that, this search for things she likes. Say, Avaro, from now on, Rosaline might not be able to disobey you anymore. Huh? What do you mean? You see, Avaro stole her from the royal family, so now Rosaline is hers, is his. Yeah, that's an interesting way of interpreting the events. Look, no. That was never his intention. <laughs> and anyway, since he's the apostle of a god, that means that Rosaline is belongs to Fia now. How about that? No, she disagrees. She continues to think of Avaro as kind of her owner, in a way. Although she does respect Fia as a goddess and all. So, you're going to insist on being mine, huh? Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, fine, let's do this. I'm going to give you only one order. And once you hear that order, from then on, you get to live as you like. Isn't to live as I like also an order? Fine, have it your way. It's an order. Alright then. So then, let's hear this first order. Do not yourself ever go to die. So, continue to live, and with luck on your side, things will get better. So don't give up on yourself and continue to have fun living. So, she understands the order. From now on, she's going to live with all of her might. She promises. Sounds good. Yep, we are pretty happy with how this turned out. And so, Rosaline is going to call Avara. Go Shuzin. Go. Go Shujin-sama. From now on. This is one of those things that means master. You know, she hasn't never called Gilsh that. It's a rather more respectful and more endearing way of saying it. Eh? How did this come to pass? Even though I've always told her to live as she likes, that doesn't change the fact that she still thinks of herself as Avaros mo as being Avaros. And furthermore, she kind of thinks that he would like it this way. Uh, no, please, call me things normally. Ah, how about this? Captain is fine. I'm used to that. Why Captain? 
Explanation, explanation. I still don't think it's a very good one. Hmm. Okay, if that's how it is, she gets it. Captain of Aura, then. But we'll stick with Go Goshujin Sama when we're having sex. Yeah, quit teasing him already. So. We got another party member and we're getting closer to our goal. Isn't this awesome? And that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.